What's up guys, EJ here, um, back to do another uh, video, this is going to be my DVD Blu-ray update for uh, April 20th, 2011, uh, happy 420 everybody, I've got my uh, Highway 420 shirt on, only day of the year that I actually wear this shirt, because um, I used to partake, uh, I quit like 10 years ago though. Um, yeah, so happy non-birthday to Chris, aka Mr. Ramon420. He made a very funny video <laughs> explaining that it wasn't actually his birthday today. But his uh, screen name shares shares the name. So uh, I've got six movies to show, plus some uh, TV box sets. And uh, one of them, uh, one DVD is Blu-ray. Uh, so I'll get right into it. This is continuing, continuing my uh, 01 pickups because uh, I've only got one week to go after this, and I'll have all the movies from 01 that I've been watching. I've been re-watching them over the past couple months. Um, so first is uh, Absence of Malice uh, from 1981, uh, directed by Sidney Pollack, uh, starring Paul Newman and. Uh, Sally Field film about uh, the power of the press. A man gets uh, accused of wrongdoing in the papers and uh, he teams up with the uh, investigative journalist um, to uh, figure out uh, what happened. A uh, really good movie, Paul Newman, of course. One of my favorite actors. So up next we have uh, Barton Fink uh, from 1991, great Coen Brothers film with uh, John Turturro and John Goodman, um, great film, satire, set in uh, 1940s Hollywood, about a playwright, who, uh, a New York playwright who comes to uh, Hollywood uh, to write uh, screenplays, uh, great Coen Brothers movie, um, doesn't really get talked about. Um, as much with uh, the Coen Brothers uh, other great films. Um, this is one of the ones I needed to get. I'm also missing uh, Raising Arizona. Still have to pick that up one day. Okay, up next we have uh, The Man in the White Suit um, from 1951 uh, starring Alec Guinness. Uh, of course one of the classic uh, Ealing comedies that came out of Ealing, Ealing Studios, Britain in uh, the late 40s, early 50s, also be getting uh, the Lavender Hill mob, uh, which I'll probably get that next week. Um, but, and they also did the Lady Killers, which uh, of course they remade with Tom Hanks, um, like mid-2000s. Um, great comedies with Alec Guinness, part of the Alex, Alec Guinness collection, but I got it uh, just on the singular DVD. Okay, up next we have On Golden Pond from 1981, uh, directed by Mark Rydell, uh, starring Catherine Hepburn, Henry Fonda, and uh, Jane Fonda. Um, Catherine Hepburn won her final Oscar for this performance, her fourth, and uh, Henry Fonda won as well for Best Actor. A uh, great film about a uh, couple growing old and family and um, yeah, big Catherine Hepburn fan, Hepburn fan, and this is basically her last great role. I'm not sure if it was her last film. Maybe it was. I'm sure, Michael will uh, will know for sure. Okay, uh, next we have A Raisin in the Sun um, from 1961, uh, starring Sidney Poitier and uh, Ruby D, who was in uh, American Gangster. Um, Maybe some of you know her from that, but uh, this film set in the 60s. Of course, Sidney Poitier, one of the uh, the first real African American actor to really break through in Hollywood um, at, at the time of civil rights. And this film is about a uh, an African American family that uh, comes into some money and they move from their uh, shabby apartment to a all white neighborhood, and it's a uh, very powerful drama. Okay, the only Blu-ray I have in this uh, update is uh, Shrek Forever After, the fourth Shrek film with the uh, slipcase. Now you're wondering why I got this in this update. Um, 
I'm gonna be re-watching all the Shrek films and uh, since the first Shrek came out in 2001 that's sort of my jumping off point same reason I watched all the Harry Potter films um, a couple weeks ago because uh, the first one came out in 2001 uh, I like this better than the sixth the third one sorry and but still it was kind of meh um, the sequels have kind of soured me on Shrek I still like the first one the first one's a great movie and uh, until How to Train Your Dragon came out I thought it was uh, DreamWorks best film so that's Shrek for the rafter and now I got four uh, TV box sets. I haven't bought TV in a while, actually. But uh, I got these, adding them to the collection because I've already got previous seasons of all four of these. So the first one is uh, ALF, season two. Um, of course, loved it when I was a kid. Um, I watched season one um, earlier this year. Took me back. It was great seeing the show again. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. ALF. Awesome. Okay, up next we got Scrubs, uh, the complete seventh season. Um, I've got one through seven now. I've only watched the first two so far. I've seen uh, bits and pieces of the show in syndication over the past couple years. Really like Scrubs, um, but I need to get on watching uh, three through six, and of course this. Only two more to go after this. Eight and nine. Uh, next, I picked up uh, The Sopranos, Season 5. Um, still have not watched The Sopranos. I've had it in my collection for a while, and I have not even started the first season yet. Um, I've really been lagging on this show. I've only seen one episode of The Sopranos ever in my life, and that was in a uh, TV film class. Oh, it was a TV class I took in college. But uh, yeah, I need to watch these, and after this, I'll just have uh, season six to get, which is uh, in two parts, I think. See, uh, yeah, part one and part two. And last but not least, I picked up uh, The Wire, the complete second season. I uh, haven't seen this, but I watched uh, the first season earlier this year as well. Really enjoyed it. It was just awesome. I just loved how much detail went into uh, this one case in uh, the Baltimore projects. Um, from all angles, uh, it was just great, and I've heard nothing but good things about the second season as well, even though it's a bit of a departure, I believe, from the first, but I love uh, Dominic Senna, uh, he was great in uh, season one, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out, and I've got to get the other three seasons as well. So uh, those are my pickups for this week, and uh, 420 for... TV box sets and six movies. Let me know uh, what you think of these if you've seen them. Um, yeah, so uh, everybody have a happy and uh, healthy, safe 420. Um, if you enjoy nature, like Chris uh, said, I'm sure it'll be a good day. And until next time, I'll see you.